<laughs> this is why I don't want to smile. What's up, guys? Fun fact. Ah! <laughs> that was. Oh, wait, so you, no, yeah. On the Here's Ian. <laughs> Shut up! Shh. The very first string of electric Christmas. Electricity on Christmas. <laughs> Guys, stop Central. I'm Ian, and I am Logan, and we are the news anchors for this week. I thought it was gonna be warm today. What's up with that? Well, it is like 7 a.m., and the sun isn't even fully up yet. Well, you know, I think Ben should do his job and tell us what the weather's like. I wholeheartedly agree. Take it away, Benny boy. What's up, Central? Sleep well? Good. It'll be cloudy all day, so my sun fanatics cope harder, and it's, it's not coming back. With a high of 68, you have no excuse to not go outside, you bums. It's not cold, and you definitely have at least one friend. If not, lie about it. I promise I won't tell. And it's going to be cold and a little rainy for the rest of the week, so bundle up and get an umbrella. Finally, the air quality is good, so go outside and deeply inhale. Maybe with those definitely existent friends. Alright, that's all for me. Back to you, Winkers. Thanks, Ben. That was very, um, Logan-like. No, it wasn't. He ruined it. But let's get started with some congratulations. Our choir participated in District Omnia Large Contestant Group this weekend. Uh, Coral received a superior rating, which is straight ones from all judges, including sight readings. Soprano Alto Choir received an excellent rating overall. Both groups received valuable feedback and Coral qualities for state and April. Congratulations to you all. We are all Comet Proud. And we have more performing arts news. Over the weekend, our band members participated in the Cincinnati Regional Concert Band Festival. Take a look at what Mikey has to tell us about that. What's up, Central? Last week, our band was getting ready for their first show at the Cincinnati Regional Concert Band Festival last Saturday, aka our first and probably only Bands of America competition. They worked extremely hard all week and did very well to prepare for their competition and their concert that's tomorrow. Let's take a look at some of their work. Best of luck, and we look forward to seeing their future concerts as our band improves. If you like music, get out there and support their future concerts. I've heard them, and I can say that they're pretty good. Anyways, that's all I have today. Back to you guys. So come out tomorrow and support your band friends at their concert, which starts at 7 p.m. Good luck, band, and thanks, Mikey, for all the information. Now let's run down what's happening around here. First, we have some club information. Take a look. If you haven't yet, make a commitment to visit a club sometime before spring break, which, by the way, is just in 14 days. Plus, remember that before the break, like right before the break, like Thursday, we have Combat that. Olympics Part 2, a chance for redemption because the juniors got wiped out. Oh, the sophomores. Anyway, next up, we have a great way to give back. The Debate Club is sponsoring a book drive called Reach Out and Read, so you can continue to contribute new or gently used books for kids ages from infant to elementary school, you can drop the books off in the ERC, the Student Support Center, or the receptionist. Please go home and go through your bookshelves and clear out some books for other kids and bring them to the school for the Children's Hospital. All that stuff is really cool, but you want to hear something cooler, man? And what's that, Logan? Sports, man! Sports is literally the best thing ever. I'm so pumped. I play sports. You know what? It's where I play video games. I want to hear about that. Tell me about the sports, man. Uh, Mikey and Cole, please take it away. Yeah. Good morning, Comet. Guess what? What? I don't know. I didn't actually plan a joke. Well, that was terrible. Anyways, let's get into our sports stuff. Spring sports are underway. If you need information, please check the TVs in the cafe. And then we have fall sports getting started. If you are interested in learning more about tennis and playing girls tennis for the comments, plan to attend a, a mandatory preseason meeting this Wednesday, March 8th. It will take place immediately after school in the cafeteria and will include all the necessary information for a season. Plus, cheer clinics and trials for the football season will be held 
the week before spring break, clinics are March 13th through 15th from 4 to 6 p.m. and tryouts are March 16th starting at 3.30 p.m. Do you guys want to see something impressive? I can make this bungee cord disappear in a split second. Ready? You want to know what else is impressive? Our result news. Over the weekend, wrestling competed in districts. Jamie Ramirez qualified for states. Good job, Jamie. Also, junior Addie Rudolph competed over the weekend and also made it to states. Wow, so impressive. We are so proud of you and looking forward to seeing you both in states. So today we actually don't have any games happening because all our spring athletes are in training. Next week, however, there will be some games to talk about. Since this week is boring, except of course for wrestling, let's wrap this up. Back to you, Anchor. Congratulations, Jamie Ramirez and Addie Rudolph. Great work. Wrestling is no joke, so good job in getting the W. We wish you both the best of luck at States. Now please rise for the pledge. The pledge stands for so many things in our country and shows another way to support all of those who have fought for us. Here's Eddie to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Eddie, and thank you to all those who participated. That was a pretty, pretty easy script, script today. Yeah. I mean, I'm not arguing. I'm too tired for this. Anyway, enjoy today and stay safe out there. Bye.